Hi, welcome to my full tutorial of how to draw realistic fur in Procreate with default brushes. I will activate the symmetry guide to draw the sketch easier first. Now, let's draw the sketch. Wait, I'll reduce the brightness for this part so you can see my sketch. So, if you want to draw your own sketch, I suggest you to draw the sketch with basic shape like circle, ellipse, or square. It's up to your imagination. This is how my sketch looks. Now, let's reduce the opacity, change the background, and getting back the brightness. Next step is create a new layer below the sketch for the base color. Don't forget to activate the drawing assist. I use white color for the body, pink for the ear, and black for the eyes, nose, and mouth. You can use any colors that you like for the body and the ear. The base color is done. Now it's time to add the shadow and the light. Duplicate the base color and reduce the brightness. You can also play with the saturation and the hue as you want. And now, add mask to the layer. Use the black color and soft airbrush to start at the light. Don't forget to activate the drawing assist. Remember to select the white layer mask to add the light. Draw like this. Use your imagination to draw the light and the shadow. Don't forget the ear as well. Take your time to draw the details. And if you make any mistake with the light, you can change the brush color into white and redraw the base color back. And with white color, add shadows around the eyes to make it more realistic. After finish with the shadow and the light, merge all layer without the sketch. And I suggest you to duplicate this layer, just in case if you make any mistake in the next step. 
Now with the smudge tool, pick short hair brush, it's already in your app, and start smudge the whole edge. Keep remember to see the draw from far to make sure you don't miss anything. Next Create a new layer above the first layer for the fur. Use short hair brush and start draw the fur. The method is pick the brighter color to draw the light fur and the darker color to draw the dark fur. It will take some time to practice, keep trying and you will get better result. If you want, you can use some real fur of animal image as your reference. The ear is half done. Now, before we start draw the body fur, I want to tell you about the fur direction. So, you should understand about the direction first. I will draw the fur with the direction. With this, as the center now let's draw the body fur just like the ear I use short hair brush I always draw the fur from the edge first then go to the middle You have to remember that some of body parts need to draw with brighter color of the fur like the cheeks, nose, and the forehead.
You can see the edge of the first layer still visible here. So you can just go back to the layer and do the smooch again. Just like that. And for more realistic looks, you can add a small amount of darker fur on the light part and lighter fur on the shadow part. And now, do the same way for the ear. Okay, it's time to draw the eyes and the mouth. I create a new layer below the fur. And I use studio pen brush with any different color to draw it. Just to make it has perfect size. And let's change the color into black. Next is I create a new clipping mask layer. Don't forget to activate the drawing assist and throw the eyes detail with white shaft airbrush I think the color of the eyes is too dark, so I increase the brightness to change it into dark gray. For the tongue, I use bright red color and dark red to make this shade. Don't forget to add the light part as well. Back to the eyes, I use brown color and black to draw the pupil.
and add a new layers for the eyes reflection details. Okay, the eyes and the mouth are done. Now, merge the layers and then add a new layer below to draw the shadow. Use soft airbrush and pick the closest color from the edge of the eyes. Draw the shade like this to add more depth for the eyes and the mouth. Use white color to add more details. I add more detail to the ear by using the bright color of the tongue. Okay, this is how the looks should be. Now, let's draw the first detail for the last part. I create a new layer above the fur and use fine hair brush. You can see here how I draw it. I don't activate the drawing assist for this step.
don't forget to add the detail for the nose. I use white soft airbrush to draw the detail. I will put a mustache on the nose. You can add it or not. It's up to you. I use very small size of studio pen brush with black color and erase the edges to make it look realistic. It's done. I will change the background color and add the shadow under the character. Thanks and enjoy your drawing.